all your problems sent to me the loneliness the loss the misery the highs the lows and all the so hard all this crazy stuff but i'm yours take my to keep that's the opening song on your new album mm -hmm. what I know to be true it um, sounds to me that it's really setting the theme for the album would you care to sort of explain a little bit about sure. Yours to Keep? sure yours to keep so that came you know Phil and I have sort of through the years we've always talked about maybe writing something together and mm -hmm. yet years passed and it hadn't happened mm -hmm. and so we uh, decided one day to do it and I came to his house and uh, I had a little bit of a lyric idea in that I had been at a church service where we were asked to sort of like put our arms forward as a physical representation of sort of giving our burdens over to the Lord you know so all your problems send to me all your burdens give them up and there it was just something kind of meaningful about doing that in the service and uh, so that was sort of the initial thought I think mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we sat in his living room and uh, he brought out the guitar His and, chords, uh, the chords came to me and the melody mm -hmm. came to you and then mm -hmm. your words came to it and, yeah and then we ended up opening the album the new album with this song mm -hmm. and uh, I just I just love the way the tune feels and sets yes. up the mood for the whole album uh, got Steve Brewster to play on uh, the drums on it, and uh, uh, Blair Masters did some magic with his keyboard work. But you played the keyboards, uh, your own keyboards, on pretty much 90% of this whole album. Right? Yes, yeah, it was, a, it was a great way for me to approach it with this record. I was coming out of a really difficult season of grief, and honestly, the idea of embarking on a new recording was overwhelming to me and um and yet phil has been a support of my music through the years yeah. and yeah. uh you know he suggested you know we could take it slow we could do this over a few months time we could come and so i brought my keyboard over and we just built the songs from the ground up basically i just played the piano vocals and he took that and then we built it from there and mm -hmm. so it was different than i had approached records in the in the past you get all the players together and you do two days of tracking and you cram in five you know 10 <laughs> 12 songs however many you can in two days but um that just wasn't the pace and the speed that you know for me for this season and right. so it was really a beautiful gift to me to be able to come and take it slow yeah. and also me not being a studio player you know I play live I accompany myself live and there's a lot of grace with that there's a lot of freedom with that and so mm -hmm. it was a challenge for me musically to you know at times I played freestyle not with a click but at other times I needed to play to a click and so that stretched me a little bit too uh -huh. you know? but you did fantastic and every time we got together to record a, a song uh, there was always uh, progress, good progress. Uh, uh, There's 15 okay. songs on the album, and 14 we produced together, mm -hmm. and you produced with Bill Deaton, the last track yes. of the album. Yes, yeah. uh -huh. a bonus track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's it's quite the bonus track. It's uh -huh. a beautiful song. A beautiful song, Hope is Believing, um, that I wrote for a, a movie that was released back in 2016 called Christmas Ranch. Yeah. Sure. 